delivered. Who needs to be delivered on this earth? Blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians because of the condition that we're living in. We need to be delivered. And, that, and that's something you gotta know, black and Hispanic man, is that the Lord is on your side. You keep his laws, statutes, and commandments, the Lord can deliver you. He can save you from your drug addiction. He can save you from your child molestation. He can save you from poverty. He can save you from every um, bad thing that you're going through right now, man. He can save you from all the horrible, the terrible things that have that you've gone through through your childhood. You understand? But you know who the Lord won't deliver? He won't deliver the white man. The Lord ain't going to deliver the white man from going down 12,000 feet underwater. You understand? Trying to see the Titanic. He ain't going to deliver them. You understand? And here, here, here's a um, sidebar real quick. What the hell were they doing there anyways? What in your what what in your mind? Why would you go? How, is it 12,000 feet up? Or probably more, right? They went deep underwater. For what? To two miles to go see the Titanic? Listen, black black and Hispanic man. You can't even afford to die that death. You understand that? We die on the streets, we get shot, we die off of drugs. That's our death. You understand? But the white man, he go deep underwater, go see the Titanic, and he dies from what? An implosion? You understand? The point is this, is that the Lord ain't going to deliver them, but he will deliver you, man. You understand? The white man don't put drugs in your neighborhood. The white man don't put guns in, it, in your neighborhood. He's spreading his LGBTQ. He's spreading his pork, crab, shrimp, lobster. The brother bought out the lifestyle. He's spreading that lifestyle, that sinful lifestyle in your neighborhood. And that is what's killing you. Let me get the... the um, uh, learn not the way to eat it. Let me get that real quick. You understand? The, the point is that you got to come back. The, the Lord can deliver you, man. The Lord can save your soul. The Lord can deliver you if you change your life, black and Hispanic man. If you turn from your sins. If you let go of the LGBTQ, the trans, we call the trans era, trans lifestyle, alternative lifestyle, homosexuality, you name it, man. You gotta change. You gotta change your life. Otherwise, you are gonna die. And we and blacks and Hispanics, we're dying in a high rate in America. You ain't never thought about that. You ain't never thought, damn, why we die so goddamn much? Why we die in America, left and right? Why we filling up the prisons? Why you got kids in cages? It's because you're living the wrong lifestyle, man. It's because you disobeying the Lord. You disobeying God, and the Lord is punishing us, man. The Lord is punishing us because we disobey them. I know that sounds wrong, that sounds horrible, but God is a good father, man. And a good father punishes his children, man. And we are his children. We are the children of Israel, blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. And the Lord is giving us a judgment, a punishment. But you ain't always got to get punished. You understand? You can get on your dad's good side. You understand? We're so used to seeing our father's bad side. But man, you can see your father's good side if you obey him. You understand? If you listen to him, how do you listen to God? By the words that are written in this Bible, man. By the laws, statutes, and commandments that are written in this Bible. You got to come back and follow them. And the Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless you if you come back to his laws, statutes, and commandments. You ain't never had a blessing in, in your life, black and Hispanic man. You think getting $100,000 is a blessing. You think winning the lottery is a blessing. Getting a lot of money ain't a, bl ain't a blessing, black and Hispanic man. It ain't a blessing. You know what you do when you get a lot of money? You go buy cocaine. Go buy more heroin. Go buy more weed. Go buy more drugs. That's what you do when you get a lot of money, man. Uh, uh, getting a lot of money is not a blessing, but it's a curse for us, man. Because you don't know what the hell to do with it. You understand? Let's, let's go into the Bible real quick. Let's get that. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speak, speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Or uh, uh, who? House of Israel. O house of Israel. The words of the Lord ain't given, it ain't given to everybody, man. I'm sorry, white man. These words ain't written for you. You understand? This Bible right here is a separate Bible. That's what the word holy means. Holy means separate. It's a separate Bible. You understand? The Lord ain't talking to you. The, the, this Bible, these scriptures, 
the prophecies that are in the Bible, the blessings. This ain't for you. The gospel. That's what they call it, right? The gospel ain't given to you. It's given to who? Hear you or what? House of Israel. Who? House of Israel. Who's the house of Israel? Where the Troll tribes at? Right here. Troll tribes of Israel. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. The people that America hates. That's who the Lord's speaking to. Hear ye the words of the Lord, O house of Israel. Go ahead. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord. Thus say who? The Lord. That's God talking to you, black man, Hispanic man, Native American Indian man. God is speaking to you. Go ahead. Learn not the way of the heathen. One more time. Learn not the way of the heathen. Now, here's a million dollar question. Who's the heathen? Why is God saying, learn not the way of the heathen? Who is the heathen? The heathen are people that are non-Israelites. Right. That's your so-called white man, Arab, East Indians, Chinese, Filipinos. You understand? God is saying not to learn their ways. What's the way of America? What's the way of the white man? LGBTQ, straight up and down. They even got a month called Pride Month. Good night. They, they got a month, Doc. They got a month for the LGBTQ, where you can run up, up and down Hollywood Boulevard. You can have a man dressing like a woman and a woman dressing like a man. And they even teach it to the kids. Good night. They teaching it to the kids, Doc? They teaching the kids that it's okay for a man to dress like a woman and for a woman to dress like a man. I don't know, man. That don't seem like education to me, man. You understand? That seems like they're trying to spread a demon on your kids. It seems like they're trying to spread pedophilia to the kids at a young age. That's the way of our oppressor. That ain't your way, black man, Hispanic man. You got law, statutes, and commandments. Give me Deuteronomy 4 and 5 real quick. You understand? We got rules. Regulations. We got a way of operating. Right. You understand? We got morality. That's something that the that the white woman ain't got. Right. That the white man ain't got. You understand? We learn their ways, and and when we learn their ways, we become just like them. Right. We lower ourselves when we become just like them. You understand? Like you think about a whore, right? Black and Hispanic man, we call our women hoes and whores and all that all the time. Right? But where did a whore them come from? That come from the white woman. The white woman is the biggest whore on the face of the earth. Right. The biggest whore. You ever, you, ever see, you know what happens when they go to college? They're getting ran through everybody in that college. Everybody in that university. <laughs> but what do they call them? Uh, sororities and all that? Good right. night. You understand? And then they go to your neighborhood and spread that lifestyle to your woman. And your woman acting like a white girl. You understand? That ain't your lifestyle, black and Hispanic woman. You understand? Your, your lifestyle is to have one man. You understand? And give that body to one man. And treat that brother right, man. And that brother got to treat you right. And build a family and have kids. Five kids, six kids. You understand? And then spread this knowledge to the kids. So the kids grow. They become adults, they become a man and a woman, and they have kids. And then you spread the knowledge and the wisdom, understanding to the other kids. Now we got what? Now we got now we got a family. Now we got a nation that lives off these laws, statutes, and commandments and has morality, has understanding. We got a strong nation, man. But right now we got a broken nation because we refuse to listen to the words of God. And we would rather listen to the Christian church and the Catholic Church, and the Muslim mosques, and none of them have the understanding of this Bible. That's why we lost. That's why we dying. Because we don't have the understanding of God, the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of this Bible. Let's go ahead. Keep, where, where we at? Huh? Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Verse six, keep therefore and do them. One more time. Keep therefore and do them. The Lord said, keep them. Keep the commandments. Keep the laws that's commandments that are in the Bible. 
Why is that so heavy? Why is that so important? Doesn't the Christian church say the law is done away with and you ain't got to keep the laws in the Bible? Right. Ain't, ain't that what they teach you? But the Bible just said what? Keep therefore and do them. And what? And do them. Brother, you got to keep the laws in the Bible, man. 